Hi everyone, I was just going to ask the question on how can we write back the value of a calculated value control in an index new responsive forms. Now, um, that's a bit of a loaded question because we don't have a calculated value control in an index new responsive forms for Office 365, but you can simulate it. So, and then once you simulate it, how do you get the value back to um, a SharePoint column? So I've got my example list here with title and numbers. So that's just a number number column and we've got my form here so the way to get around um, the missing calculated value control is first you put a label on and you probably want something to calculate so you're going to put two numbers so number and number we'll just make those um, oh, integers decimals decimals doesn't really, ma really matter we'll just do whole numbers for the moment so what we want to do in the label is we want to say number one times number two. So I come into the label and I go insert and create a form variable. And I'll call this um, my calculation. Calculation. Uh, so we go number one times number two. So simple calculation and it needs to be a uh, integer obviously. So go ahead and create and insert that. And as you're noticing, the label controls only for text, but what we do with the variable is actually convert it to text behind the scenes. So we've got our calculation there. So if I go to preview, so I'll put uh, two times two is four. Now what we want to do is, um, if we look at this column, this this control here, it's connected to the number column. So anything that gets written in that um, in this field in this field here goes back to the number column. So um, and this is more of a workaround. This isn't really the you know. We don't have a calculated value control, so this is what I would do to work around that. So I would first hide the uh, the number or the column, the control for the column, and so you've got your your two fields and you've got your your calculated value there, and then you've got your um, your field that we're hiding. So then you come through to here and create a rule. So number one and number two is filled and is filled then. Uh, number, which is the column really, um, uh, value, and you click on insert, and you insert your variable. So go ahead and create that. Uh, give it a name first. My um, calc calc rule. Uh, go ahead and create and insert. Now I'll go ahead and publish this, and we'll go to our SharePoint list and press new. Okay, so four times four is 16. Now there's no, um, you can't see the number control. We press submit, oops, um, hello world. Press submit. And now you can see here, 16. So I didn't make this up. That's not something I had there before. So if we look at this, there's only hello world and number 16. Um, I'm gonna press new. And um, uh, hello, Mars. Hello, Mars. And let's do five times five is 25. Press submit. And there you go. So, all you really need to do is have that um, a representation of that column on the form hidden, set its value, and then every time it's going to update that column. So, um, the other thing you might come into is um, if if you are in, let's see, view, you won't be able to change the data, but edit, let's just test edit. So if I come back to Hello World, just to make sure I'm not missing anything here, I come to edit. Now if I put 5 times 4 is 20, press submit. I'm just going to make sure this works in new and edit mode. There you go. So it works in, in new and edit mode. So the, I don't think there's going to be any any gotchas in there. So just make sure your data type's correct, pass the data type to the column or represent the, the column on the, on the form and it should get the data type automatically and you're good to go. Hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.